We are getting into the last couple of releases of this year, and this month is the turn of Home Assistant 2023.9, which features some great new UI elements to use for thermostats, even more ways to create template sensors, more tile card features, a new entity, and weather improvements. Like, improvements to the weather entity, not the outside weather. I mean, Home Assistant's good, but it's not quite that good. Yet. First up, in many releases from this year, we have seen various revamps of dashboard cards and more info dialogues, including for alarms, fans, lights, and more. But for 2023.9, one that I've been waiting for for so long now has finally been added, and that is for thermostats. And we also get humidifiers and water heater entities too. The more info dialogue for thermostats has now been completely revamped with a new design to make things so much cleaner and easier to use over the previous dated design. Depending on how your thermostat is configured, you may see more or less options here, but firstly we have the current temperature marked on the dial so that you can easily see it when you're setting adjustments, and then you have the heating temperature on the left hand side and the cooling target temperature on the right hand side. One of my favourite things is that if you drag a target temperature past the current temperature, the colour changes on that one little section, which is just a nice little touch there. If you prefer to use the plus and minus buttons, you can click the target temperature on the left or the right hand side to increase it that way using the buttons. Finally down at the bottom are buttons for modes and presets. You will notice that while the more info section of the thermostat has been changed, the actual regular thermostat card itself remains in the old style. And having spoken to the devs, they are obviously aware of this and are working on it. There are just some additional challenges and use cases to take into account with the card itself, so they want to make sure and get that right first before switching over. But that's only for the dedicated thermostat card. You can of course use the tile card with your thermostat to take advantage of the newer design. Speaking of the tile card actually, this release sees us with a bunch of new tile card features to enable additional functionality on the tile card for certain types of entities, including for thermostats where you can now display the thermostat mode for quick toggles along with the heating and cooling target temperatures. Lights can now also display colour temperature as a slider alongside brightness, super handy, and covers can also display the current position in a slider too. Nice. Another really cool feature that I'm glad to see added is that template sensors can now be added through the UI rather than creating them in YAML. Don't worry, creating template sensors in YAML is still supported and they aren't going away. In fact, you still need to use YAML for some more advanced sensors, but this new feature lets you create some new sensors quickly right from the UI. If you head over to Settings, Devices and Services, Helpers and create a new helper, selecting the Template Helper, you will get the choice of creating either a binary sensor or a regular sensor, and then you can start creating your template. You can even set the units of measurement, device class and state class right from the UI too, and you will even get a preview of what your template sensor will look like. This is going to be a really handy way of just adding quick template sensors in the UI instead of having to go into the code, add your sensor, restart the YAML and check that it works. You can just do it all from the UI now and it's just instantly available and they're ready to go. That preview feature actually is another new addition to this release too, where when you are creating a group in the UI, it will now display a preview of what that new group is going to look like, which is really handy for just making sure that you set everything up correctly. Groups also get a new type in 2023.9 where you can now group events together. If you remember, events were added in last month's release to make automating based on events so much easier than it used to be, well now you can create groups from those events entities now too. This could be useful, say for example if you have multiple doorbells and you're listening for events from those doorbells, you could just group them together and then look for events on that one group. Speaking of new entities, 2023.9 has added another new entity, which is the lawnmower entity. So that now all of you ballers out there who have robot lawnmowers can now see your lawnmower inside of Home Assistant. Or at least you could if there were any integrations that supported it, which unless you have an MQTT lawnmower, there aren't just yet. This release adds support for the lawnmower entity and allows integrations to make use of it which we will likely see in future updates. 
We also have a new service for getting the weather forecast, the weather forecast service. This service allows you to select which type of forecast you'd like to receive and then call the service, which will then give you the forecast using the new response feature for services, which in turn you can then use in your automations, scripts or templates. This does introduce a breaking change for the existing weather entity, so make sure to read the breaking changes section for that if you are using it, but because of the new deprecation policy that the team has adopted a couple of releases ago, you have six months before that will be removed, so plenty of time to migrate. Finally, the onboarding process has been improved once again for new users with an improved user experience to make things simpler and quicker to get up and running after you've installed your new Home Assistant server. In terms of new integrations this month, we see six new integrations, including the aforementioned Lawnmower Entity, and you can now also add Schlage Wi-Fi Smart Locks to Home Assistant, which will be great as they are quite a popular lock. As for breaking changes this month, we have a relatively small list with nothing major that I can see other than maybe the changes to the weather entity, which we discussed earlier. So make sure to check that out and have a look through for yourself to see if anything else applies. And that is about it for this release. Another solid release in the books. Really happy to see the changes to the thermostat entities and the new tile card features. The new thermostat looks amazing and hoping that we see those changes apply to the actual thermostat card in the next release as we'd love to use that card on my dashboard. I think it looks really good. Do let me know down in the comments what your favorite changes were from this release. The template sensors in the UI is a really nice touch too and I suspect that one is gonna be really popular. Other than that, thank you for watching this video. Please drop this video a like and get subscribed if you haven't already and I will see you in the next video.